Today, I'd like for you to take a moment and imagine how it would be like to live a life with no coral reefs. The destruction of coral reefs threatens marine life, causing them to lose their home and potentially die with nowhere else to go. And just imagine, no coral reefs, no fish for food, and no more marine life. A whole ecosystem just wiped out. That would pretty much affect us all and it would change our lives. Today I am here to talk about our coral reefs being endangered, what's, what's causing them to die, and also what we could potentially lose. The coral reefs all put together is, is, has the area size of the United Kingdom and Ireland combined. All the coral reefs are real sensitive, just like the lead author of the atlas, Mark Spendling, said coral reefs are highly sensitive just in change of water temperature. Increase of 1 or 2 degrees in El Nino event in 1988 destroyed 90% of coral in the central Indian Ocean. Now you may start thinking, well, what could change all this and how could the water temperature just change? Well, that's the big question is, what is causing all this to change and make the coral die? Well, the main cause is coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is when the coral turns white, grayish looking. What causes that is the coral to stress out with the, with the water temperature and that is making the coral die. Algae like protozoa is the algae that goes on top of the coral coral that makes the great reef ecosystem depending upon one's a relationship with the alga giving the coral coloration. The alga is giving the coral color and that's what makes the coral reef beautiful. When the, when the water temperature changes, that's making the alga die and that's what creates the coral bleaching, turning it white to grayish looking, and then it will eventually die. And powerful to destroy the coral life. With their massive wind and power pressure, another major cause of the endangered coral life is human activity. Human activity is huge because what changes the water temperature due to all the chemicals that we spill in the water. Change in the water temperature is making the water go down or up and that's causing the corals to eventually die and then there goes the, the home for the marine life. Water pollution kills not just the coral but as well as the fish. Involving all those cans that you throw into that water, all that is accumulating at the bottom of that ocean or lake or whatever it is and that is eventually killing all the life that exists underwater. Part of human activity also causes overfishing. Overfishing, millions of people depend on coral reef fishery. Most of the fish are captured with sodium cyanide, a highly toxic inorganic salt. This chemical kills the corals as well. Once the coral begins to disappear, so does the animals living in the reef. The coral reef is a huge home to millions of fish and creatures that live down there. We depend a lot on the coral reef because it supplies us with seafood, building materials, sources for medical products, and as well as tourism. Without the coral reefs, we would not have fish and a bunch of different creatures. If you don't have these, you can't have your seafood, your tourism, and your supplies. Now that you know about all this coral reef endangerment and you know the destruction that we can cause to the marine life, let's see if we can help out our world and little by little start respecting our oceans and lakes by not polluting them and adding stuff into it. Saving one reef saves a million different kinds of creatures down there. Thank you for your time and I hope you learned something out of this presentation.